Well guys, welcome back to Corn Dog Caravan. Ray here and I am at Custom Coach Creations looking at their second model, which is the Voyager SE. This has a lot more bells and whistles. It's a beautiful van inside. I can't wait to show it to you. The difference between this one is this does have um, about two, I think it's 200 watts of solar. Huge difference in electrical. This has uh, almost, I think it's almost 13, uh, 1300 or a little over 1300 lithium batteries, same Victron batteries, Victron 3000 watt inverter. So yeah, it's got a lot more uh, bells and whistles than the standard model, but again, both of them are still beautiful inside. And this does have a little bit more features on the outside. We do have a set of running boards on the side. So yeah, we'll show you that. All the details coming up. Beautiful, beautiful van. I do see a couple of different upgrades here. We do have the running boards. I mentioned that we've got solar on the roof. Yes, sir. We've got an awning. I meant I didn't mention that. We've got the Fiamma uh, 80S. This is a manual awning, which is nice because one less thing to break. It's got the LED light strip. Really nice there. It also has a Starlink satellite system in motion. All right, so we are getting a hailstorm. Let's. So this is the custom code show van. Ooh, the lights look great. They're everywhere. So this one actually has a 12 volt AC in it. A lot more efficient as far as power wise and what it uses, but not as powerful. And that tends to be the case with all of the 12 volt ACs. They just don't have as much punch as the 110 units have. Now I think you said this was a 12,000 BTU pair? Yeah, or they call it a 12,000 BTU, but honestly my guess is it's probably a little bit less than that. They, uh, what I've noticed with the 12 volt units, they all seem to oversell themselves a little bit because they're just, in my opinion, they're just not quite there yet. Um, and I've installed them all from the Domatics uh, to the Nomadic to uh, what's Coleman. it? Cruising Comfort. So they had a lot of the 12 volt systems out there, but they don't have as much power as the 110 units have. Gotcha. And also too, the 12 volts don't have a heat strip, correct? That is correct. Okay. So not not that we need that, it in Florida, but for those that are taking a van here and going out west. You would need some form of supplementary heat. Yep. All right, so big difference in the cabinetry, obviously. We've got a little bit of a curved front, whereas the other one had the flat front. That's correct. Now on this side, we've got the microwave where it was on the driver's side and the standard Voyager. And this is also a smaller unit. This is the 700 watt, just a standard microwave instead of a thousand watt with all the features. All right, we've got again, the 12 volt fridge. 12 volt refrigerator. Uh, the other one was a Contour. This was a Everchill. So as you can see, it's a little bit different in the inside. About the same size it looks. Yep. Yeah, about the same. We've got the countertop material. I don't know if we talked about it on the other, but on both rigs, they're both Corian. Same Corian. This one has a much larger sink than the last one. A little bit different design instead of round, a good bit deeper and larger. Same back. thing, covers so you can extend your countertop. This one has a, du a two burner induction cooktop, but it's built into there with a cover so that way you can still have a nice. So since this has a little bit more bells and whistles with lighting, show me the light control. So we've got the, the, the I guess the ceiling lights up front. Yep, so you got switch lighting. You also have a dimmable. And then you also have the mood lighting which is switched. It can be switched individually or together, and it's also dimmable. And then behind this cabinet door here, just kind of come in here to show that real fast. That's kind of your control center. Tank monitors for the, I guess, the gray tank? Yep. Or fresh water, or both? So you got, it's, um, tank monitors got fresh and gray, okay. no, no black. Um, coach lights, they're separated between the front and the rear, and like I said, they're also dimmable. Upper, or the mood lighting is lower and upper, and they're also dimmable. This is a dimmable mood lighting for the awning, so it's also dimmable. 
Very nice. You also have underneath the cabinetry touch lighting. So all the lighting underneath the cabinetry is touch. And also switched as well? No. Just they, all touch? Just all touch. Okay. Underneath is all touch. And then same on the cabinets behind me. Now also light. I'll just kind of show some detail here. We have also have outlets tucked up nice with USB sockets and a 12-volt socket. That's good. Yep. And then we've got the outlet on the wall over here by the countertop. Again, LED and all the all the window control area, a slider vent here in the back. I really like this back door treatment. I haven't seen this. Are they pockets to hold something or yes. is it just more looks? So they serve as pockets. And then the back here in the back doors, we also have shades. Now these are darker shades. I guess these are just the black shades that is for correct. more blackout. And yeah, that's on all, all, all the windows here? All the windows have pull down shades in this build. All right, so this one actually has the ability to give you like a little L-shaped couch. And that little cushion can go there. You can even, uh, I think there's a cushion that leans up against this. Okay. So it creates like an L-shaped couch. And then when you want the full bed or this bed, you would just kind of pull it out your bed. All right. So we got the bed pulled out and the panel removed so we can check out the battery application here. Here's your inverter, that's your solar charge controller, everything, all the electronic equipment. There's lots of storage for stuff. This van is being, you know, even though a 159 is really not a large van, it feels very open. You know, you don't feel crowded and closed in in this van. You know, it feels open, there's lots of windows. Um, yeah, so again, we've got the 12 volt AC up top. We also have the max air fan. And then I'm just going to swing around here. I don't think we showed the bathroom yet. This one's a little different. Open this door. So we have. This has a Nautilus window. and a solid door with a mirror. And then it has a. So it lets natural light in. And you can't see in from the outside. You know, a few shirts and pants in there. Both of these seats swivel around. On this side, you got the the pull-out table. It makes like a little workstation. The driver's side is actually designed to be a little. It's a little built-in office. So this is actual commute computer monitor. There is a built-in computer, which right now we took it out, but it will come with the vehicle. But there is an actual built-in computer. This flip up, flips up, that spins around, and you got a little mobile office. Very nice. So with the Starlink in motion satellite system, you can literally do all of your work right here. Or if you just want to use that as some extra countertop for storage while you're parked. Same, you same thing. There is a little hidden cubby area here as well. And then this was all raised up so when you're spinning around and you're sitting, you got, you know, it's comfortable for your for your feet and the height. Very nice. Yeah, and again, these have been reupholstered. Really nice look. Kind of has the Texas feel to it. Yep, yeah, everything was reupholstered to match the front. So this is a model year. Technically, it's a 22, but based on the manufacturer date and the design of the front, this has at least the 23 front nose. Okay, so one question I just thought of, 
on the last van, the standard Voyager versus the SE model, and I guess any other vans that you guys build for customers. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the insulation. What what type of insulation? So, really, it's up to the individual because we are a custom builder. So we have done everything from Havelock wool to a standard R13 to some of the 3M type of uh, the foam and insulate and stuff like that. So we've done it all, and we're willing to do it all, depending on if the customer wants a you know specific type of insulation. Our standard we do is just an R13, and it's on the walls and anywhere and everywhere it can be placed. Um, and then if you wanted to say go the extra mile, we'll do what's called it's a material called hush mat, um, and it does two things. It's a sound deadener, but it also has an R7 insulating factor, so it helps add to the insulation of the vehicle but it also absorbs sound and it's a uh, heat retardant so when you put that hush mat on the skin of the vehicle it helps keep that heat out because it doesn't transfer through the material as much so it helps okay. keep the van cooler inside so there's a lot of options when it comes to insulation and what people may or may not want we just did a, a vehicle recently that the the particular customer wanted all Havelock wool. So the entire van was insulated in Havelock wool. Yeah, we have Havelock wool. We've been super pleased with it. Mm -hmm. It has, everything has some positives and negatives. Uh, the wool has some issues with moisture. So that's some people, you know, could, that could be a concern or could not be a concern, just, just depending. Really, it all breaks down to preference more than anything. Yeah, and I guess really the climate you're going to spend the majority of your and time the climate, in. climate, absolutely. Guys, that is a wrap. So thanks for watching this video showcasing the Voyager SE. As you can see here, I'll just kind of turn around. They've got vans. I won't say out the door, but they've got a lot of vans. They've got sprinters. They do builds on Permaster sprinters, pretty much everything. Uh, four transits. I can't say enough good things about the build. They, they just re really do a quality build especially compared to the competition. Um, they've been in business now at this location over eight years and have turned out probably close to a thousand vans so they know what they're doing but they continually improve their product trying to look for improvements to make it better for the customer. So if you like this I believe the SE model that's right behind me here and I like the color too it's the kind of that sandstone color I believe that's going to be priced at, I think, in the 130 range, uh, maybe 135, 138, somewhere, I think, right around there. If you're interested, comment below or contact Custom Coach Creations. Just make sure you know to tell them that I sent you. I'd appreciate that. So, guys, thanks for watching.